Hi guys, it's Nigel at Locking Kidder Better Estate Agents and I hope you're well today. Today we're down in a small cul-de-sac and I want to welcome you to my property tour as the cul-de-sac is called Daisy Close. I've been outside two or three times today. You can see the floors where the sun has been in, it's been out, it's been raining. But just in there behind me, you can see that red brick. It's like an end terrace attached to the other garage uh, property with no one with chain. It would really suit somebody like a first time buyer on investment or someone trading up or trading down. And Daisy Close is off the old Snowbury Lane where you've got wonderful cut throughs. You can have a level walk into the town. Um, and like I said, when you go inside the property, being that it's an empty property with no chain, it is ideal for first time buyers or people trading up or down, in fact, or an investor. There's that canopy porch, you go into the, the door, then it goes into the hallway, then it opens up into a kitchen that's uh, been fitted with a, a fridge freezer in there. It's a, it's a galley style kitchen. The door opens up, uh, overlooks the, the front window, overlooks the, the front um, parking there. When you go through back out the hallway, you've got a spacious living room, and then that opens up into a, a decent conservatory. The bedrooms are a good size up there as well. So you've got three bedrooms upstairs and a family bathroom. It's double glazed and gas. That blue door there, or, or uh, that, that garage door there opens up, and then there's a useful personal door to the rear as well. So you can see there's a bit of parking there to the front of that garage. You could also bump the car up into that graveled area as well. So ideally, like I said, it's a, it's a property with no chain. This is kingly priced today, guys. Uh, I'm just glad that it stopped raining because I've just come out. Um, it's Thursday, so the sun is starting to come out. So what we should do, I'm gonna spin the camera around so we can talk about the amenities um, and everything about the air of Melksham and what it's close to. Then we're gonna go into this property before it starts raining again to go outside as well. We're gonna have a look at this property in Daisy Close. And there we go, we can see some blue skies at last. <laughs> Parking, parking, easy enough there. Garage, and then there's that personal door that I mentioned earlier. Daisy Close, this one's just an off cut of Daisy Close. Glad the sun is out, you can see the floor is wet, so it's just finished raining. Um, you can go along the old Snowbury Lane, actually. The football club is just there. And if I just pop the camera here, there's a little cut through there as well, which is ideal for parks. So you can, you know, you take the kids there if they're younger and play in the park. There's some green areas. There's a nature reserve close by. There's the old Clackers Brook to walk dogs. There's plenty of open spaces as well. There's a bit of new development going on on the other side by the football club. And then if you walk, uh, if you went back up to Snowbury Lane, there's a medical centre. If you turn left, that takes you towards Bower Hill. And then you can either go left towards Bower Hill and then say Sells Green and Seend and places like Devizes, of course, and the Canal Walks. Or you can go along the A350 to Warminster, Trowbridge and Westbury. You can go along the A350 and that will take you to the Laycock side, Chippenham, and look in a car on a, on a decent day. You can get on the M4, say, uh, approximately about 20 minutes, so give or take. To walk into the town, I'm quite a fit lad. I reckon you can do that in, say, 10 minutes. But like I said, there is another, there's a surgery there or a medical centre, there's another one on this uh, spa road as well there's a garage there's amenities by you as well the forest and sandridge school which is well thought of that's close by you've got the oats school around the corner which is obviously the secondary school and again that's that's very handy for your families as well with this being no chain and that's the thing with the market having a no chain situation is ideal for a lot of people you can just wheel your suitcases in there. i'm sure you'll make some changes i'm going to take you through the property we'll have a good look around now and just remember there is a bit more here if you wanted the park parking there but there is a drive there you put your garage uh, car in the garage as well so let me uh, take you through that door and then we're gonna have a good look around this empty property with no chain in Daisy Close as promised I'm just gonna show you what's around you I just want to go back to the because it's an end there mid and then this is an end you can see they built over the the garage when these were developed and then that's attached to a garage so you could call it an end attached i don't really know what else to call that but let me just turn this camera around just so you can see what's in front of you nice little drives going in everyone can park their cars which is which is very useful one two and three they've all got their parking and over there they've got the parking there's a little um bay there where um you know friends could park up their car Bring the camera around, little canopy porch there, guys. Open up the door, nice and easy. I'm just gonna close the door in behind me. There we are. You can see there's a modern fitted, um, or newly fitted kitchen there. This hallway will open up into that living room, which we'll show off in a minute. Little alarm there, we've not tested the alarm, we don't know if it works, but I'm assuming it does. Little laminate 
effect flooring there, radiator, and there's the door coming in. So there is a, a little area there where you can take off your shoes. Uh, narrow kitchen, I would call it. Fridge freezers built in. So uh, it's quite a cute kitchen, gas boilers there. And then you've got your four ring hob oven. And then you've got some base units and eye level cupboards there, radiator. And look, there's some tile flooring as well. Sink in the front that I uh, mentioned earlier, little shelving bits and pieces there, blinds. Sink there and there's your boiler, which is just there in the corner. So functional kitchen, window that overlooks that front that we've seen already. If I just show you this angle, you can just see the built-in fridge freezer, which is useful. There's your cooker, eye level cupboard, extract hood over. Great starter home this. And what is there available, which is three beds with a garage and a conservatory with no chain at this price? Very little, especially when it's double glazed. There's a new bathroom suite upstairs as well for you to consider. So a lot of the work has been done. It's been rented for many, many years. They're selling their investment, so it's ready to buy. That's the reason why there is no chain. Coming into the living room, as you would expect, that just opens up. There's a staircase that will go to the first floor. But here you can see a, the sense of um, space because you can put your sofa in there. Television, for example, can go there. Or, you know, I've seen TVs in there, sofas around here. So depending on whether you've got a corner sofa or two units or a chair as well, you know, it's a big enough room here, guys, just to figure out where you want things. They've obviously, there's a radiator as well. That's gonna open up into that attractive. It's a decent size, look, conservatory. Pretty, pretty decent there. Come bring the camera around. And here again, it just shows off the other aspect of the property. I want to say aspect, aspect of the room, I should say, sorry. Fireplace that looks electric could be, you know, I've not double checked that. I don't know if it's coal effect, but I think that's the electric fire. There's a little mantle over there. Um, but again, you can take that out if you don't want it. There are two radiators in there. We could do something with that. And I'll pop that camera out there because we'll get up there later. But there's just stairs that will go up to the first floor landing. But what a decent size this is, really cool. And then just looking back from here, you can see a nice bit of light just flooding into that um, into that entrance hall and then the kitchen just pops off. Now over the years, I've even seen people block that with that type of block glass to give it a feature in their room. Difficult now when you've got your, your cooker on this side, but I have seen people open this up, even take that down, um, that wall. But um, I'm not so sure you, you'll want to do that, but I have seen that done. Just to give you ideas, we're here to demonstrate the possibilities of the home. Sliding patio doors, and then it comes into this big double or, or decent size double glazed um, conservatory with your windows and doors, laminate effect flooring, like fan unit. You can hear it's echoey, but it's, it goes onto that nice little garden at the back there. There's some chippings and stuff. But what I will show you also, and we'll go out there in a bit, there's that personal door to the garage, which I always think is pretty useful. Better to have the conservatory than not because you can put your dining room table and chairs in here. You can meditate in here, enjoy the sun in the summer in here. It could be a little kids kicking about room. You can, you can do whatever you want with it, but it's here anyway. So look guys, I, I covered off the downstairs. So you've got a double glazed conservatory looking over to the rear. Now the sun is out. The time is about I don't know, 20 past 11 today on Thursday. So you get an aspect of where that sun is. And as I pop that camera around there, the sun is up there, look. So I reckon that comes around. So I'll give you an idea on the, um, the aspect of that rear garden. Pop back out into this spacious room. You know this is the living room. I'm just doing a quick recap. The front, the parking's out there. You know it's no chain. The hall, uh, entrance hall here. And then back into this kitchen for you. So let's pop upstairs and have a look at those three bedrooms and bathroom. Let's promise. Coming back from the hallway from the kitchen into the living room again. Nice size this. Remember, decent size conservatory. Let's climb these stairs. And as we go up, you can see a smoke alarm. Again, we don't test these systems, but I can see it there. It splits now left to right. So bedroom, bathroom, and then two bedrooms. I'm just gonna go straight ahead. I go into this room. It's not numbered, but obviously you can see there's a bedroom here. There's a, there's a freestanding wardrobe there. There's access there to, to a loft space in one of these bedrooms. I think there's also a, a loft space in the other one over the garage. Have a look outside, radiator. There's that front that we, we saw earlier. 
And that sun is a tease today because I've been wet. And then I've had to come in, <laughs> I've been wet, gone out and it's rained again. So it's been quite like that today. Um, but that's to be expected for the time of year. So we'll catch us out when we're doing our photos and videos. But here's a bedroom, come back out through. It's a little cupboard there. I'm not gonna open it up because we all know what cupboards are. Come into the, I would say bedroom one. It's a decent double actually. So you can put your bed there, there or whatever. The TV can go there or here if you ever want one. There's power points here, here, aerial socket over there. And there's a little wardrobe or a little cupboard space over the stairwell there, guys. Pop the camera out there. Functional garden, obviously that um, conservatory eats into a lot, but then there's a bit to the side and there's a bit there. Just bring that camera around and it just gives you another angle, this bedroom. It's actually not in bad order. I mean, somebody's gonna change the carpets, I'd imagine, in the property. Finish things off, maybe change the paint, but there isn't a lot to do. These were built, you know, that way. And they're highly sought after because of the cul-de-sac and location. And at this price, you won't see many on this market. So it's keenly priced as well, guys. So there's the bedroom cupboard, double glazed window, radiator. And let's go into the bathroom as I turn this camera around. They spent a bit of time in here. Um, got a, like a vinyl effect flooring there, low level WC, washhand basin, and there's your panel bath. Some attractive tiled walling that goes up with the shower there. And again, some ceiling spotlights and an extractor fan obscure double glazed window. The windows are sealed unit double glazed and then wood frame. Somebody might want to change the windows into UPVC, etc. That's something somebody else can do. Just show you the angle there. If I pop that camera out, you can just have a look at the uh, landing area. And then as it splits off, we go into another, it's quite a long room this actually, because this is the room over the garage. And again, I said there's another access to loft space. That's the other one. So there's some ceiling spotlights over there. And just look how long it is. Let's walk up here. I can see this room being split actually, not in terms of walling, but maybe someone will have a little office in here and a bed or an older child or, or whatever. It's a longer room. So you could, in effect, if you are working from home with the hybrid working, so you, you're not working in this shard, you know, two days a week, this is, this is gonna be ideal for you because you could put a computer there or a computer here, still have a bed in here somehow or a sofa bed. It's just ideas because not everybody needs to use three bedrooms or you could use the smaller room. Perfect for that. Let's just go back. Sun's really coming up now. That's cool today, love it now. And then that is the third bedroom. And those are the landing areas again. So as you come down those stairs, we came up the stairs and then we, we went into this bedroom, not bad size bigger again I think this is the main bedroom wardrobe or cupboard in there come back through into this room here which actually is a good size actually and then mostly finished modern bathroom suite so look I hope you've enjoyed the tour upstairs as well let's get outside into that rear garden just to take a final peek at this property as we come through the living room Spacious living room. It's this good double glazed conservatory. Sometimes you forget it's actually here. It's here. <laughs> Open this door. And of course, we're gonna be greeted. A bit of sun, birds, shed in the corner there. Let's turn this camera around. I'm not gonna actually open this door. It's a garage, up and over, personal door to the rear. Now you could argue, not even argue, there is no side access. You're gonna to have to go through that garage to this door into there. So that it's an end terrace, but that garage, like I said, it's an attached to that garage. So you just need to consider that. But there is the option as I pop that in there, you can see what's in there. Not a lot of paint, etc. And then the, the door, you just need to consider that. Come through if you ever want that side access. There is a availability of side access, but not just by a gate. You have to go through the garage. Gardener, uh, garden. Uh, there's some chippings around the garden. There's a uh, laid to lawn there, enclosed by some fencing. So that's pretty cool. There's the sun we mentioned. It's gone 11 o'clock now. And if I just pin this camera around, turn this camera around, there we are. There's the rear of the property there. You can heighten your, your fencing to give yourself more privacy that's part of it's done. I would definitely look at that. Give that uh, an area to give you more privacy. 
and it's just a normal rear garden. I mean, the property, you know, suits first time buyers. It's a great starter home. It suits investors if you want to rent it out. And it also suits people trading up from a two bed to a three, people trading down even. That's that's happening quite a lot. So the options are there this with this property because it has no chain. So I hope you've enjoyed the tour. It's Nigel at Lock and Key. Any questions, feel free to give me a nudge on 01225 707342. I hope all is well, and I look forward to hearing from you soon.